Senator, Senator, one question. Have you talked to any of the Americans? I'm a Palestinian. I'm going to, I'm going to respect your views. I ask you to respect mine. That's not, not an inhumane view. That's an inhumane view. Being, being pro-genocide is not a view. I'm a Palestinian. We came to speak to him or the staff and didn't find the locked door. He has all the hostages and pictures in there for the Israelis and you know, I feel it's very uh, one-sided that he doesn't have anything uh, for the Palestinians. So we, we'd like to either bring him some or ask him why he doesn't. He's shown a lot of disregard for Palestinian lives and especially given that he um, campaigned on being a progressive. Uh, he's let a lot of people down who initially supported him and were excited for his candidacy. And as allies of Palestinians as well as some of us being Palestinian here, here to talk to him and, and let him know that supporting genocide is not okay and that supporting the killing of babies is not okay. Uh, I would like to also tell uh, Senator Perlman that uh, the majority of American people are asking for a ceasefire, that the overwhelming majority of the Democrats are asking for a ceasefire and I know for sure that the hundreds of thousands of Arabs and Muslims and friends of the Palestinian people in Pennsylvania are asking for a ceasefire. I'm not sure where he's getting his, uh, this advice from that's ill-advised not to support a ceasefire at this point. I am Josie. I'm a 17-year veteran of the United States Army, also a military intelligence officer. I have a background in understanding what's going on in the Middle East, and I'm here to ask you to call for a ceasefire. This is not self-defense. I understand exactly what defense is. This is not self-defense. This is a genocide. The ICJ has ruled it as a plausible genocide. The U.S. court has ruled it as a plausible genocide. There is no hiding. Veterans are waking up. Americans are waking up. We are prepared to take to the streets and continue to protest. We are not going to be silent in the night. We are going to keep talking and keep talking until you call for a ceasefire. Senator Fetterman, ceasefire now. Ceasefire now. Ceasefire now. Ceasefire now. Ceasefire now.